Okay guys, so Paul Bates here and today I want to talk about uh, my Life Pro 4 battery and uh, why I went with that. So you guys know that the Tesla battery didn't work out. Uh, it's just too dangerous. Uh, the, the chemical reaction in them uh, is too, it, it's too dangerous for us and we didn't want to monitor all that and we didn't want to make the trip about the Tesla battery. So we switched uh, directions and I went ahead and I just googled um, like Pro 4 batteries and I did a little research and I came up with uh, this company called uh, RJ and uh, I ordered the battery. Uh, the, the bad thing about it is the battery took a long time to get. Uh, once I put the order in it seemed like it took about uh, th almost two and a half three months to get the battery. It's supposed to take about a month to six weeks so that's one of the disadvantages of ordering it. But you can just order them on uh, Amazon, and they're already here in the States. Uh, all these batteries are pretty much put together overseas and then uh, brought to the States. But all of them are. Even, uh, even the, the guys that tell you their batteries are American-made, the parts are all shipped in from somewhere else. But what I really like about this particular battery that I got, it's 200 amp hours. I've been, it's heavily been testing it this last couple of weeks. Uh, I just ran it now. I'm on my like third day on it. I've got like 62% power left in it. And it is all Bluetooth to my phone. It is probably one of the coolest things that I've ever, that we have on the boat in my opinion. But I'm also kind of a tech geek guy and I like that kind of stuff. So I can monitor the battery from my phone. I can be in bed and just hit the button and monitor my battery. We've already tested it one night uh, with, and we, we, what we bought it for so we can go on the anchor on the hook for I wanted to be able to go 24 hours without having to ha have anything touch the battery for power. And we're there. We absolutely have it 100%. Right now, all I have is the freezer running on it and my charge station and I've got I've been going three days now and I've got about 60% power left in the battery right now and I'm gonna let it keep going I'm gonna take it all the way down you know just really give the the battery a good workout here um, I hooked up right now I have a Vectron charger a 25 amp charger uh, it took it from uh, when I the battery was delivered it had a uh, 20% power in it uh, and it took it about eight hours to take it all the way up to, uh, it was a little less, about seven and a half hours, to take it all the way up to its 200 amp hours. Um, once I did that, that, that charger will pretty much maintain it, and I pretty much left that on the whole time, and I've never gone below, let's say, 190%. But now I am working the battery and taking it way below there, and I'm going to take it probably down to uh, 30%. I'll, I'll char start charging it again tomorrow, and that pretty much runs the freezer and the charge station full-time on the Loop Princess. So very, very uh, excited about it. If you have any questions or need anything answered about it, um, just let me know. And, and again, Facebook, and then go to Messenger, and that's the easiest way to get a hold of me. And I'll, I'd love to talk to you about the battery and the technology and stuff like that. And I highly recommend, when you guys are looking at these batteries, do the Bluetooth option, because it is that is super, super cool. I don't have to... You don't have to buy a big monitoring system or spend any extra money on the monitoring system. Just go to an app here. I'll show you right here on my phone. Hit the button and my battery pops up and I can see exactly what it's doing. If it's discharging, if it's charging, I can see how many amp hours are left in it and all that stuff. So a great option. I am keeping it completely separated from the boat system. So it'll run the inverter. It'll run the charger. Uh, and then I have four more batteries for the boat batteries, but those are just lead acid batteries, the normal lead acid batteries, and they'll be down below uh, in, in the same engine compartment. But they're dedicated to start the engines and the little bit of work that they have to do, like the anchor light and stuff like that. The LiPo 4 battery will be dedicated to running like the refrigerator, the freezer, the outlets and stuff like that. So anyway, again, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I'm right now on my next video. We'll talk about the 800 watts of solar power that I put up on top of this uh, roof of uh, the new hard to top for, for Luke Princess. And, uh, and then I put a Vectron uh, 60 amp um, solar charger. And then we'll, we'll go into the, the panels on the next video. Anyway, Paul, thanks. Peace out. Daisy from the Loop Princess. Thank you so much for watching. Here's to salt under your keel and safe voyages. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you.
Thank you.